Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Sports Card Sales of the Week, Junk Wax Edition. The criteria for making this list, cards must have been from the era of 1986 to 1992. Cards must be available through retail or hobby packs, no Tiffany or Desert Shield or any of the special issue sets included. The regular issue, traded and update sets will be included. Autograph cards are not included unless they were factory inserted into packs. This is Junk Wax Investor, where we explore investments in the junk wax era of the sports card industry. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe and smash that like button. Alright, let's get started with football in the number 5 position. From the 1989 score set, we have the Troy Aikman rookie card in a PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $560. The record for this card was $1,500 from PSA's website. You can get a box of this 1989 score set for around $850, but it's full of other collectible rookies. In the number four position, also from that 1989 score set, is Deion Sanders rookie card in a PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $680. The record for this card was $855. In the number three position, from 1988 tops, we have the Bo Jackson rookie card in a PSA 10. This card sold for $1,200, which is a PSA 10 record. You can buy a box of this 1988 tops for around 70 bucks. In the number two position, also from that loaded 1989 score set, is a Barry Sanders rookie card in a PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $1,525, which is a record for a PSA 10. And in the number one position for football, from the 1986 top set, we have a Jerry Rice rookie card in a PSA 9. This card sold at auction for $2,119. This looks like a pretty good deal for this card, as the record is over $5,000. And there have been a number of PSA 9s that have sold for over $4,000. A box of 1986 tops will cost you over $4,000. However, the top football card from last week's list was also from the set, the Steve Young rookie card, which also set a record for a PSA 9 when it sold for $5,500. Moving on to hockey, in the number 5 position, from the 1990 Opeechee Premier set, we have a Yarmie Yager rookie card graded in a BGS 9.5 with all 9.5 subgrades. This card sold by best offer for $338. The record for a PSA 10 in this card is $306. You can pick up a box of 1990 OPG Premier for around $200. In the number 4 position from 1989 OPG is the Joe Sackick rookie card. This card graded in a PSA 10 sold for $500 and that is a tie for the record for a PSA 10. This card has a pop of 236 and a PSA 10 out of 3,404 submitted cards. You can pick up a box of 1989 Opeechee for around $35. In the number 3 position from 1986 Opeechee is the Patrick Waugh rookie card in a PSA 9. This card sold for $1,230 by best offer. This is a record for a PSA 9 by a large margin as the previous high was $810. A box of 1986 Opeechee sells for a premium of over $3,000. In the number two position from 1987 Opeechee is Wayne Gretzky and a PSA 10. This card sold by a buy it now for $1,500. This is a record sale for this card in a PSA 10 as the previous high was $900. The pop for this card is 87 in a PSA 10 out of just over a thousand submitted. And the number one position for hockey is from 1990 Pro Set and it is the Stanley Cup hologram insert numbered out of 5,000 in a BGS 7 grade. This card sold for $2,247 via Buy It Now. This is a very low PSA pop card with no sales recorded above a grade of 6. You can buy a box of 1990 Pro Set for around $10. Moving on to baseball. In the number 5 position from 1986 Tops Traded, we have the Barry Bonds rookie card in a PSA 10 condition. This card sold at auction for $402. 
The record for this card in a PSA 10 is $588. You can buy a set of 1986 tops traded for around $30. In the number 4 position, from 1990 Leaf, we have the Frank Thomas Rookie Card, which was graded in an SGC 10. This card sold at auction for $442. This was a gold label SGC card, and the record for a PSA 10 Gem Mint of this card is $480. You can pick up a box of 1990 Leaf for around $150. In the number 3 position, from 1986 Donruss, we have the Jose Canseco Rookie Card graded in a PSA 10. This card sold via Buy It Now for $480. The record for this card in a PSA 10 is $641. And you can pick up a box of 1986 Donruss for around $100 to $150. And in the number 2 position from 1992 Bowman, we have the Mariano Rivera Rookie Card in a PSA 10. This card sold by a best offer for $700. This ties the record for a PSA 10 for this card. You can pick up a box of 1992 Bowman for around $300. And in the number one position for baseball this week, from 1989 Upper Deck, we have the Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie Card in a PSA 10 condition. This card sold at auction for $1,876. This is just off the record for a PSA 10 of $2,250. And you can pick up a box of 1989 Upper Deck for around $450. And we're finishing up with basketball this week in the number five position from 1986 Fleer. We have the Carl Malone Rookie Card in a PSA 10 condition. This card sold at auction for $3,149. This is pretty far off from the record sale for a PSA 10 of $7,388. In the number 4 position, also from the 1986 Fleer set, we have the Patrick Ewing Rookie Card in a PSA 10 condition. This card sold at auction for $3,650. This price is just over half of the record price for this card of $6,250. In third position from the 1986 Fleer set, we have the Michael Jordan Rookie Card Sticker in a PSA 9. This card sold at auction for $4,057. The record for this sticker in a PSA 9 is $4,920. In the number 2 position from 1986 Fleer, we have the Dominique Wilkins Rookie Card in a PSA 10. This card sold by a best offer for $9,500. This is just below the record for this card of $10,301. We have a clean sweep of all 5 spots of basketball this week, with all cards coming from the 1986 Fleer set. And taking the top spot again is no surprise as the 1986 Michael Jordan Rookie Card in a PSA 9. This card sold by a best offer for $25,000. This looks like a record price for a PSA 9, with the previous high reported on PSA's website of $24,655. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. In addition, hit that bell icon and get notifications so you don't miss out on any of our future great content. Also, follow us on Instagram and check out junkwaxinvestor.com. Thank you and keep collecting.